Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Drug Talk Views. Welcome back to another video. Alright, so we are back with a long-term review of the Maxiv Duo. It's been already more than a year since I actually purchased this and I've been using this charger as my daily charger. And if you do not factor the price, I believe that this is the best charger you can get for your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your AirPods. So I do have uh, Mojo Skins custom skin on this. So I got this installed when I purchased my Maxiv Duo just because I'm pretty OCD about it changing color but nevertheless it still did change color. But anyways if you haven't subscribed to this channel do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post and without further ado let's get right into the long term review of the Maxiv Duo. Okay guys so let's talk about the good things, the things that I like about this. Of course, being a first party accessory, you're going to be getting top notch build quality, top notch uh, charging performance. Of course, this has to be coupled with the 20 watt charger. Uh, of course, it's not bundled in the box. You do have to buy that separately on top of the really hefty price tag of 589 ringgit. But even though it costs so much, this has never failed me once. And honestly, I think the design is ingenious. Uh, even though you might be worried about this breaking apart, after one year of usage, it is still in very, very good condition. And I haven't like actually taken care of it that well. I mean, it just sits there on the desk, but uh, I've brought it on my travels and stuff like that. And it's actually held up pretty well. Okay, so let's take a closer look. So you can see a very nice uh, aluminum ring on that. Of course, the whole thing is basically made of silicone white silicone in fact so you can see the discoloration right here what i like about the apple watch side of things is that you can either lay your apple watch flat something like this right here you can see the magnets are pretty good or you can actually prop it up as you see right here so very nice as a bit side clock you can use your apple watch for just more than a watch of course but uh this makes it uh, a very versatile charger and besides if you compare this with many other competitors like from belkin from anchor and, and other brands this is actually super portable that's what i really do love about it so you can see right here if i go on my travels as simple as this i'm good to go this thing is super compact you can just slide it into any small pocket any uh notebook pocket in your bag and this will fit perfectly well and the construction of course it is solid because yeah it's a first party accessory so you're going to be definitely getting the best build quality available but the edges in fact i was worried that they might split apart just like the apple smart keyboard case the ipad smart keyboard case but it has really held up well you can see right here so not only can it be folded this way closed for travel you can also fold it the other way if you just want to charge your iphone alone or your airpods or something like that or you just want to charge your apple watch so very very versatile construction because this is like sort of a hinge so being a first party accessory you get the lightning port which means that you don't have to go looking for a usb-c to usb-c cable i mean they are pretty easy to find but you do not have to purchase one because this is a lightning port so you can just use your current iphone cable with the charging brick and you can just get on with using this and it can charge two devices now instead of just your iphone so in addition to being a first party accessory this actually protects your device battery from overcharging overheating i've never had any heating issues overheating issues when using this even with the 13 mini which i had for a while uh, I've never had any overheating issues and on top of that this actually learns your charging pattern after a couple of days of usage a couple of weeks even and it stops your charging at 80% until you're almost about to wake up and then it like charges the device to 100% so that actually preserves your battery health so that's one of the key points which I really do love about using original Apple accessories because it's tailor-made to protect your device. I mean, you already spend like close to 7,000 ringgit for your iPhone. What is 500 ringgit, right? 
you just have to get a good charger to charge up your device so it does not prematurely wear out the battery okay so coming to the things which i do not like is definitely the color so apple being apple they are really stubborn on their color scheme and it's still white so you can see it is not actually white anymore okay this is the box that it came with and you can see it is now a slight beige color it's like a tan white color and one more thing to add is that every brand every other brand that is charging close to 600 ringgit for a charger is also coming with a wall outlet but this does not come with a wall outlet. You actually have to buy it separately, which is kind of uh, ridiculous considering that they could have just thrown in like the 20 watt adapter. The 20 watt adapter costs only like 99 ringgit. I mean, like, why couldn't ju they just have to like thrown in into the package and just make this a complete package for people who are looking for something to charge up their device? Yeah, in terms of price wise, I believe it's still not worth it. You can easily get the Belkin 3 in 1 charger. You have gotten that for slightly more money, slightly. Uh, or, or even at a discount, it's almost the same price as this. But this one, you can only charge two devices. That you can charge three devices. If you're looking for value for money, definitely you can go for the Mophie, I believe, has also something like this. And of course, the Belkin, which is the most popular one on the market. But for me personally, uh, I like something which I can use both at home and also for my travels. So definitely I went with this. Because the Belkin one is very bulky, you can't fold it, you can't collapse it, you can't do anything with it. It's just like basically a standing base at the side of your bed. So I hope this long-term review actually clears your doubts if you are thinking about getting this product. For me, it's definitely a go because I've used this for more than a year and it has never failed me once. Held up really well, it's practical, it's very easy and portable. And on top of that, if you are an AirPods user or Apple Watch user, Definitely, this is a no-brainer because you're going to use only one outlet to charge two devices. So yeah, that's a no-brainer in my opinion. So that's all for this video, guys. If you did like it, you'll give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.